Yeah. Now there's something very important that we need to do when we go to a fish farm site, and that is to have an understanding of the nature of the water. Because we all know that fish farms live and die based on three things, the quality and the quantity of the water. Now, the quality of the parent stock of the fish that you bring in, because fish takes after their parents. If you bring a short, a short, a fish that has a short orientation like a pygmy, you don't expect to get a big, gigantic stuff to play basketball afterwards. Then the amount of work you put into each fish. So fish farming is not for lazy folks. So let's start with the primary one, which is water. Now every site, especially whether it's city or a village. Now what's the name of this village of Umar here? Okay, down now they call it now Gwebina, right? That's about just about 30 minutes drive from Umar here, Abia State, Nigeria. Now I'm not taking chances. Even though everything is lush green with a plantation at the back there, palm oil plantation, we don't want to take chances. Let's see whether they still face the same hazard that cities face, which is acidic water. So I'm going to test the water from the bowl now to see whether it's okay or not. You still got a little bit of water left. So you go and get some water there quickly. So we're using this test kit to see. I believe more in the liquid test kit rather than the rather than the um, the digital. Because the digital can have challenges because it's based on batteries and the rest. But liquids don't lie. What we're looking for now is to see whether the water is perfect for the benefit and quick growth of the fish. Or it's going to slow down their growth and begin to inhibit the growth of their bones. Or it's so super perfect that almost about 7.5. So, are we set to look? Remove your glasses. I'm not going to remove mine. <laughs> so, let's see from the top. Okay, nice. Now we're told we're supposed to put about. Can you help me hold this? So, there's a reagent to let us know what we get, what do we have with the water here. I hope it's green, so we'll save the entrepreneur thousands of naira from having to want to bring the water back to the normal green. So, we put about four drops one, two, three, four. Oh, mine is not turning yet. Can we have recovered? Why is it not turning? Uh oh, this is not good news. Wow, we got almost four here between four and five. This is not proper. This is four between four and five. It shows this water is not okay, it's acidic. Now, it's not strange because this is what you get in so many cities too Lagos, Abuja, and the south south. Because of all these uh, glass fair flaring, oil body driving cars, so we have this acidic rain. The, the environment is becoming acidic. So, confirm now. But don't worry, there is a solution. And I'm going to tell you the solution later. But let's try the water that comes from the village itself. I mean, no, let me not call it village. This is a town. From the town itself, the popular water everybody takes, which is called pure water. Let's see how pure the water will be. Can somebody get me? It's only the beam on the system for us, okay? Let me read this. Okay. Right. So, excuse me, let me just raise a little. Boom. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. So, this is pure water. Please don't show the name of the company. Uh, if it's good, you can show the name. But if it's not okay, that'll be bad. So, don't let's see the name of the company making it. One moment of decision. Two, three, four. Wow, this is nice this time around. This is a different water, right? Yeah. This is a different water. Wow. The one we did it last time. Where did you get this one? We did a test earlier on and it was all. So, this, the fellow here must have done a good job. I think I'm coming in. Look at his, his name now. This is. Oh, this is a different one now. Yeah. yeah. Chari Sam. This is different from the one we did about about 15 days ago yeah. when it was all red. So, you guys, don't, you don't have to be afraid anymore. Then go for. Chari Sam. Chari Sam, right? <laughs> this is wonderful. So, he's got. In fact, a little bit 7. on the alkali, 7.6. 7. 
Okay. Perfect water. So let's go to the international standard now, which is the bottle water. And let's see what happens. So let's focus the assignment. Where they come, where, where the base? Oh, they wouldn't put the address there. You can drink this water now. So let's look at the international standards. The bottle water. Can you open this for me? Ooh. Some use the bag of these people to seal off. Oh, showing that it's a, an investment that knows the right thing to do. The water, everything that it takes to make their water standards. He's saying that some companies actually use the bag of this cereal to seal up. So one has to be careful. So it's not just about buying it in this area. So you folks, you get that. So let's look at the international standards. Please. Okay? No, a little bit more. Give me not too much. Please. Attention. Yeah. So what I mean? What I got? John, attention. Attention. Okay, bottle, can I have some professionals, okay? We're back again. <laughs> you're, always, you're, only, you're always sure that the standard is a standard. <laughs> Look at... This is... Uh, let me... <laughs> the other water is better. <laughs> yeah, it's almost alkaline. Yeah. Those guys put a little bit... Now, this when we... Is better than the, uh, now, when we finish, yeah. Or really, ever what that is supposed to be standards mm -hmm. seven. Oh, okay. Then you can now alkalize a little bit or no. Now these folks with this, they put a little bit of excessive yeah. iron exchange resin. Yes. Yeah, uh, uh, that's when this was manufactured. Later on, the standards for pure water companies seven mm -hmm. neutral. <laughs> but it's okay because you really pay some extra money to have alkaline water, but they can't sustain it because their system wouldn't carry for long because the iron exchange resin will start substituting itself inside the water and it will begin to go acidic later on. I don't know how the international standard folks like Everwater does it, but here there's going to be a guarantee of no ops loss here because we are going to try, use... Try this again. Do this last Matthew. one again. Which one is that, sir? The, this water. Oh. Do it now that they're pumping it. If you can get it from the distance. Oh, okay. You understand? So go. You see. Oh. Try, try it oh. from there. Now that you're pumping, just pumping oh, it. I want to see now that we uh, we got the bottled water standards, mm -hmm. the entrepreneur is saying we should try one more time to ascertain the effectiveness of his own water. <laughs> no, no, no. Because when he goes through the tank, I want to see maybe there's some um, things going on in that tank. Okay, you want to see what? Okay, before, the tank. before, okay, the before tank. it goes into the tank. Right, okay. this is before. He wants the tank. to see. Wait, uh, what's going to look like if it comes direct from the tank? Mm. So, someone is tapping from the <laughs> from the one coming in straight from the bowl. Okay, yeah, I think that's enough. Bowl. That should be okay, yeah, so let's, let's take so some. Rains it. All right. Rather tongue <laughs> Nah. So, uh, it's going to be green, anywhere in between or the same we return, thing. Uh, we return uh, the. We return the. Because well, these tanks, you don't know what they used to making it. Okay, so oh, the idea was that let the water come in. Let we test the water. Let's so test the water before it comes to the tank. Yeah. You never know what chemical they use making the tank. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's put all the all options on the table, right? So let, let's let's get this on now. We better be green. One, two. Three, four. <sighs> I hold this for me. This is not looking like green. So let me get take it closer to him. Cameraman can raise back. Mm -hmm. Raise back. Raise back to him. It's okay. This way. This way. You see first, right? Mm -hmm. It's about uh, between four and five, right? But not between six, six and six or seven. No. Not at all, okay? No. Can you let me know what this is? This is about, so what is the effect on fish if we use this water directly? If we use it directly, uh, fish is not going to grow appropriately. Why? Why? Because when the system is acidic, the bones need 
an alkaline base because it's calcium, it's calcareous material. Okay. So if the bones don't come and set out when they, when they, when somebody yeah. leaves this place, yeah. if the bone, if the bone is not set properly, it's going to influence the amount of flesh the fish will put on. So if you feed the best food in the world, you have the best of facilities like it's about going on now. You have aeration system and all of that stuff. It's still energy, and the bone is brittle. Then the fish naturally would not put on flesh, and that happens to some of us too. If we drink acid water all the time, now two parasites are going to be very happy. Salmonella and then uh, what's it called? The plasmodium. Because they all thrive in acidic media. Yeah. And that's why people advocate to drink alkaline water. Sometimes it affects the brain. The brain operates at 7.2. So if you're drinking water 4 point something, you know what happens to your brain? Effort in trying to make you become normal. And that's what we get in cities. No wonder there's so much misbehavior by some select people. Okay, now let me use that word. But then the police and everybody has Calm to. Down. <laughs> Calm down. You know the implication. And I think, I think, I think this is enough. So you must drink water that is pH 7. That is some total story. Both you and your fish for maximum health.